What's going on, everybody? This is J.K. Whitehead from the Base Barbell, and here to give you your breakdown this Tuesday. And I decided to go a little bit different route uh, today, as you can probably already tell. I went the softball route because we've had a number of requests from our softball fan base and our softball uh, players to, to mix one of these in. So I decided to do it today for you guys. And I hope you, even the baseball uh, enthusiasts out there and, and who watch the baseball swing, it's, it is the same. And, and you can learn a lot from these girls, too, because a lot of them do a lot of things really really well and it's a good uh, good good thing to, to kind of watch different people do different stuff and and learn from everybody so uh who we have here is lexi elkins and um, a lot of you probably don't know who she is she was number one pick in the uh pro softball draft and she was a catcher at uh louisiana lafayette the raging cajuns and uh man she is a powerhouse and for a lot of reasons uh you know she's a strong girl uh, obviously likes to work out and uh, takes care of herself, but you're going to watch her swing here on two different pitches, and, and I selected these pitches specifically because they were two different locations, um, but what you're going to see is the same swing with just a nice upper body adjustment, which is really cool, and you're going to see her actively trying to, to do some things that um, you know any, everybody can do, and <clears throat> that's the thing, you know, guy, girl, whatever, big, tall, uh, you know, whatever, you can do these movements, okay? And so um, I'm going to post a link down below here, this video of, of um, her stats and her numbers, but staggering numbers, you know, batting average over 500, um, you know, 20-plus home runs, um, just crazy, you know, over a 1,000 slugging percentage, just crazy, crazy numbers. So it's no reason or no, uh, no wonder that she was the first pick this year, and uh, I'm excited to see where she goes from here. But let's go ahead and look at these videos, and again, uh, these are two different pitches and two different sides of the plate, but what you're going to see her do is adjust really well. Um, so if we go to the single screen and look at this one first, and something else that I think a lot of our softball players can really take from from watching this video, I know a lot of them have trouble sometimes knowing kind of when to start. You know, when do I start picking up my leg? Now she has a you know a relatively you know narrow stance here. It's not super wide. You can see how tall she stands in the box, kind of menacing if you look at her. And then you can see as as the pitcher winds up, like she's moving now, like she's already started moving her body, kind of picking that front foot up. And this girl hasn't even came around with the ball more than once, like softball pitchers do. So like that's the thing, like if you're going to have that momentum and that movement in your in your stride, you got to start moving early. I mean, the reaction time at at Division One softball level is super super quick. There's it's nothing. So you got to make sure you got to have that momentum built up by the time she lets go. So you can see Lexi starting to move. Her foot's in the air there, and the pitcher hasn't even come back up to the top yet of her motion. Okay, And as she comes up, Lexi has already started moving forward, and that's really, really good. She's started moving before the ball's let go. So if you're, if you're a softball player and you have a nice stride, if you're leaving at this point, if you're trying to stride when you see the ball come out of her hand, that is just way, way, way too late. Okay, so that's the first thing we can take. Um, from her swing here now the second thing we want to talk about is I want to talk about with her is her um, her just it's crazy the amount of separation she gets so what really watch and focus on the two parts of her body really the the lower half being this part of her body and her upper half here she's what she's going to do is she's going to keep that upper half almost perfectly still as that lower half starts to open up so watch how as she's moving forward she separates so fast and so late but look how notice how her upper half stays the same it's you know she's got a little bit of a pullback with that back elbow as she separates to, to resist her her shoulders from opening when her foot hits the ground if we draw the lines i mean her her hip line is like way out here towards the third base and her shoulder line is is way is right at that ball man that is unbelievable hip and shoulder separation so with her strength plus her ability to separate and open her hips like that so fast you know, there's no reason why she's, or there's there's not a wonder why she's hitting the ball so far. I mean, some of these balls I, I watched her hit in these videos, cleared, uh, you know, cleared the fence, you know, and cleared the bleachers behind them and, uh, you know, hit the train tracks and some trees and stuff. I mean, it was just totally, you know, the balls are just way out of there. So on this inside pitch, look how open she gets when her foot hits the ground, but you can see her shoulders clearly uh, still facing, uh, facing the ball. Um you know, from that front side view, she almost steps open a lot. You know, if I'm if I'm watching her swing, and I had to pick a hole out, well, it's almost like she strides open. But you see Bautista do that some. You see maybe Jack Peterson do that a little bit too. 
And these guys really like to field themselves uh, easily clearable on that front side. So you're going to see that hip open here. You're going to see the knee open. Um, the foot is open as well. You can clearly see it pointed more towards the field as opposed to um, being taught very inward like most uh, softball girls are taught. But look how open she gets at contact. So this is an inside pitch, a ball that's kind of tailing back towards the inner half of the plate. And at the contact point, you can see how she's really trying to get open. I mean, you can see her fully turned here. She does a great job of pulling her hands kind of back across her body to adjust to the pitch. I don't know if she was looking for something maybe away here, um, but clearly this pitch rides back in, and she does a great job of adjusting to it and then continuing to turn uphill um, to get this ball in the air. And it's not even like the fullest of swings, but again, when, when she moves that well at the beginning, has that hip hip and shoulder separation there. I mean, just I can't. It's just really fun to watch because that hip is pointed, man, at the at the third baseman while that shoulder is pointed at the ball. And that's not something that I don't think everybody can do physically. Some people have more range in their hip and shoulder separation than others. But this is what we're talking about. I mean, this is this is what everybody wants to have: the ability to rotate their hips that far and have their shoulders behind. I mean, that's going to allow them to her to be very stretchy, very fast. And, uh, and does a great job of, of turning on pitches. She's not afraid to hit the ball in the air. As you can see her really try to pull her foot, her back foot. If you notice her back foot behind her moving forward here, and she's clearly got a nice angle of approach in the contact. You can see the bat getting behind the ball right there. Underneath the ball, you can clearly see the bat angle towards the ground, not, you know, not above the ball trying to come down to it. So, just an unbelievable job on an inside pitch and a reaction to it. She was looking for it. She got it. If we slip over real quickly to the next swing, and again, you can see her, again, start her move with her open foot. So if you're a softball hitter with an open stance, you can see how clearly she starts to move that foot early in the windup of the pitcher. And just like we saw in the last swing, you can really see here already setting that angle behind her. She kind of does that a little bit earlier than most. She kind of cheats. But again, when you're as strong as she is, um, you can you can kind of get away with some early angle set. But from right here, you can see her clearly stepping open again. And you can see her as she goes to swing, really open up those hips late and fast. Again, here we are in, in basically the same position that we just saw her in again, right? So here's that open hip line. Here's that shoulder staying close to the ball and that's going to help create that separation again and create that whip but look at this pitch location this is down and away clearly see the catcher and the ball going down and away this is another off speed pitch i'd imagine maybe uh heard they're them trying to get her to fish for maybe a bad pitch and it just gets left up in the zone but look how open her stomach is compared to her chest and her shoulders because the pitch is away that's an unbelievable adjustment i uh, wrote an article uh, gosh i guess maybe over a year ago now easily um, what talks about kind of directional hitting and things like that. So this is a great job of it because this pitch is so away, it's tough for her to to, to, to pull it totally. But you can see how she gets extended um, a little bit early because she's a little bit early and she hits this ball dead center. You can clearly see the ball uh, as you watch it up the top of the screen here go up towards the center part of the field. And she didn't have to slap that backside. Um, she really got a hold of it. Awesome hip turn. You can see her back foot again behind her coming up off the ground. I mean, this is just really, really good. Good extension upward. Again, not the fullest of swings that you might see, but again, when you're that strong and you, you can turn your hips that fast, that late, and the fence is only, you know, 220, 225 in center, that's all you really need. It's kind of like A-Rod. You don't really need to turn all the way because you're so much stronger than everybody else and talented and coordinated and fast that, uh, you know, it works out. And it's not fair. It just kind of is what it is. So I wanted to show you guys um, the contact position here on this outside pitch and split screen it with her on the contact with the inside pitch, right? And if you notice, like just pay attention to, to this part of her body here and this part of her body here, they're almost identical, right? Why? Because, well, she's trying to get open. That's the thing. Like so many coaches, you softball too, you know, try to – to keep girls from flying open, things like that, and to you know slap it around the field when, when if more girls were to taught and were moved like her, you know would they hit it as far as her on an average basis? Probably not. Like I said, she's strong, powerful, but you know other girls can hit, um, you know whatever their maximum is, whether it be a maximum velocity, 
or a maximum mega sp- or uh, distance, you know, they can do it, and you just they just have to be taught. And uh, I don't know whether or not she knows what she does really here, right here is really good, but I'm loving it. All right, I'm really really enjoying this lower half movement that she's got, and you can see her angle. Uh, she's got a little bit of a side bend in here on this inside pitch, and a lot more of a side bend here on this down and away pitch, but. I think we can take away from these two swings that the lower half being the engine of the swing really shouldn't change on a down and away pitch to an inside pitch, okay? And how you can clearly, you know, take, and both these pitches were, you know, pretty low. I mean, this one, the inside pitch was a little bit higher, but she was able to lift this lower pitch. She wasn't trying to slap down the ground backside. I mean, she was trying to lift these balls, um, clearly going for the fence, and, and she, you know, is able to use her strength um, to its fullest. So uh, it's a really clear reason why she's one of the more powerful hitters in the uh, you know in, in softball and definitely in college and will be, I think, at the next level as well. But you can see, you know, this fence is about 224 and this ball went clear over these flags. This ball that she hit over here to the left went clear over the, you know, into that tree right there. So um, really powerful stuff from her. And it's not an accident that, you know, she was able to put the same swing on both of these pitches you know whether it's inside or outside she's going to take her swing her way every time and you can see how she's moving and then man those hips just clear so nicely and again from the other side outside pitch this time hips clear there wham so she's got all that hip action keeping her shoulders in a little bit that's going to create that separation for her and uh just really good stuff so again uh you know lexi elkins look her up uh, follow her and, and watch her career as it goes on. Hopefully she stays healthy and, uh, and continues to do great things. And like I said, I'll post a link down below and you can just go check out some of her college stats because they are unreal. So again, you know, let's get more girls moving like her, see what girls are made of and uh, see if we can't turn some of these, you know, kind of the average size girls into more powerful hitters and, and find out what they're made of. So again, Lexi Elkins, thank you guys for, for tuning in and uh, look forward to seeing you guys a couple weeks from now. Thanks.